Hi, I'm Dr. Peters. This week's quick video is to answer the question, what is a vertebral subluxation? So a vertebral subluxation is when one of the bones of the spine or a vertebra has lost its normal position or range of motion with the vertebras above or below in the spinal column. So let's first break down the words, vertebral. Vertebral or vertebra. So a vertebra is one of the bones of the spine. A subluxation, breaking that word down. Sub means less than. So just like subtraction, to take away from. Luxation means the displacement of an internal uh, bone or organ or structure within the body. So a vertebral subluxation is simply less than a dislocation of one of the vertebra or multiple vertebras within the spine. So I have a model in my hand to help understand this. Here is a vertebra and here is a vertebra. In between the two vertebra are or is an intervertebral disc. This disc, the thickness of that disc, helps differentiate and tell us how big the hole in between the vertebras are. That hole is called an intervertebral foramina. And that is where the peripheral nerve comes off of the spinal cord, which runs along the back of the vertebra. And then this little peripheral nerve comes out and goes to every muscle, tissue, and organ within the body. So when you have a vertebral subluxation, looking at the spine now from front to back, if we bend forward, we would see the vertebras move apart. If we extend back, we see them come closer together. And we can feel that when we palpate the spine. Now, the facet joints, or the joints of Lushka, which are in between every set of vertebras, we have, you can see, that's where that movement is. Now, it's a synovial joint, which is a fluid-filled joint. And if you have a joint that is subluxated, or locked and not moving properly, when you, say, bend to one side, you can go to one side, but when you try to go to the other side, they'll start to move in unison instead of one moving by itself. So, when, as a chiropractor, what we do is we get in and adjust those joints and get those moving again. And it you know, takes a few visits to get things moving and everything working together. So one of the questions someone might say, well, what causes vertebral subluxations? Well, there are three causes, emotional, chemical, and structural stress. And I want to get into those more next week. So that's our def definition of vertebral subluxation. Look forward to seeing you next week.